The poet Percy Shelley wrote, O oh wind, if winter comes, can spring be far behind? In Minnesota, yes, it can be very far behind. <laughs> so in the heart of winter here in St. Paul, I thought I would read some summer and spring poems. Kayak. Minnows flash sudden shafts of silver light. Frogs stutter guttural vowels along the shore. You feel like life will go on and on. If not this heron's, if not your own, then all the essence of everything that gives this lake its wilderness. All the bones that rustle along the shore today, all the fuel for future flesh, for new fish, for perch, birch, and the petaled cups of water flowers. And you, for once, moving without difficulty between the blues of water and sky. Why not rest your mouth? Let the words in which you think too much spill out and drift to the bottom. Wilderness. The first few days, we have slow mornings out on the lake, long afternoons to walk in the woods, evenings of leisurely innings of baseball, unwinding over the radio. But time moves faster as the days of the week accumulate behind us. Friday passes in a flash of ease. Only now and again, it seems the waves washing on shore have reached an ending. At dinner, I say, tomorrow morning, it's back to real life. You sweep your hand through the last of the day and say, there's nothing unreal about this. But the scent of pine is faint on my skin, as if I had been a wilderness once, as we merge into traffic, as the lake falls farther away behind us. <laughs> the Ordinary. It's summer, so the pink gingham shorts, the red mower, the neat rows of clean-smelling grass unspooling behind the sweeping blades. A dragonfly, black body big as a finger, will not leave the mower alone, loving the sparkle of scarlet metal, seeing in even a rusting paint the shade of a flower. But I wave him off, conscious he is wasting his time, conscious I am filling my time with such small details, distracting colors, like pink checks, like this, then that, like a dragonfly wing in the sun reflecting the color of opals, like all the hours we leave behind, so ordinary but not unloved. Christian Derke.